Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and today I'm making this bacon cheeseburger tater tot casserole. This is Ginger Snap Kitchen. I've never made anything like this before. It was a bit of a freezer clean out recipe. Here's how I did it. I started by browning about a pound and a half of ground beef and about half a pound of bacon. Once the ground beef was brown, I drained off all of the excess grease and I added about two tablespoons of minced dried onion. Fresh chopped onion would work great. I would just add it much earlier in the process so that it would be softened. I drained off the excess grease from the bacon as well and I cooked it until it was crispy and brown. Then I sprayed the inside of a medium sized baking dish. I believe this one is 13 by 9 inches. Then it was time to mix everything. In my largest mixing bowl, I added all of the ground beef, followed by the cooked bacon bits. Then I tossed them together. Next, I added one can of cheddar cheese soup. I'm not sure why I had this in my cabinet, but I'm glad I found a use for it. Then I added about two cups of shredded cheddar cheese and two cups of sour cream. Then I stirred everything together. This was a challenge because everything in this bowl was kind of stiff. After that, I added a 32 ounce package of tater tots. I think the tater tots were supposed to still be frozen when I added them, but I didn't do it that way and it all worked out fine. Once everything was all mixed together, I transferred the mixture to my baking dish. I tried to spread them as evenly as possible. You could, of course, add the tater tots in pretty little rows on top of the ground beef mixture, but I didn't think to do that until it was way too late. I did remember to place it on a baking tray before putting it in the oven in case any mishaps occur. Then I baked it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 35 minutes. It would have taken at least 15 minutes longer if the tater tots had still been frozen. Once it's golden brown and the cheese is nicely melted, it's ready to serve. This turned out pretty well. I liked it more than I expected to. It's versatile. You could certainly switch up the type of canned soup that you use or use homemade soup, which I probably would do in the future if I make this again. And of course you could add a variety of herbs and spices. I definitely wouldn't recommend adding any salt because with the canned soup, cheddar cheese, and bacon, it's already pretty salty. Overall, I thought it was pretty delicious. Um, it was my first time trying it, so I was pleasantly surprised. If you've ever tried tater tot casserole, let me know in the comments if you make it differently or better. And please come back and see me again soon. I upload new delicious recipes every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.